Hello, and welcome back to Caldeo 60 Plays. Today, we're starting a brand new adventure. Or a new playthrough, so to speak. Uh, we're sticking with the Super Nintendo theme. Uh, and speaking of, this is more appropriate for a month of a lot of 35th anniversaries. Uh, this is Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, and as you can see, unlike uh, <laughs> Zelda, I at least know how to play the game. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. And yes, a Super Nintendo game with voice acting. For one scene. Which, if I remember correctly, and I don't. And to begin the game, you also see a lot of uh, former stuff. Metroid 1 here. And then the next one will be Metroid 2. Uh, it's the same guy that I would do, uh, end up doing Fox McCloud and General Pepper and, uh, Star Fox. 64 on the N64. So, yeah, the beginning of this game is kind of just recap of the last two games that came before it, which are... Metroid 1, or Zero Mission, and Metroid 2, Samus Returns, and slash Return of Samus. And literally picks up off the heels of the original Metroid 2. I had to say that, because... Uh, how Samus returns on the 3DS ends. Uh, messes with this scene a little bit. Uh, now, granted, we don't know the time span between this and Metroid 2 and this. But I feel like it would be almost instantaneously. So, we're playing with normal controls, so... Because I was dumb and then decided, hey, I don't need to change the... <laughs> uh... Control set. I can do this. I'll probably be changing that off screen, but currently X is shoot for me. Typically, you'd want uh, Y through B. Why the bottom portion so that you're using the thumb the entire time. Now. There are two ways to do this. You can either A, do enough damage to him, or B, you take enough damage. Uh, speedrunning method, you take the damage. Uh, if you want some interesting events to occur, do enough damage. It doesn't change anything, it just... a uh, small little gag. Oh, hang on. I don't think wise used. Yeah, no. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, no, this is poker.
Okay, so that is something I will uh, alert you to. The there we go. And all you have to do is make it there. For a minute is way too lax, honestly. But, uh, 30 second timers probably. They want to give leeway, especially if this is your first game. That those, especially that one room I went through. If you're not actively holding down the run button the entire time, you're not going anywhere. Essentially. Okay, so we got through uh, Sarah's. Sarah's is now gone. Now we're on Zebus. And now you must shoot every door open. Which I swear has like a momentary second of delay. So down here, we must head because this is where I need to go. But it seems familiar. This is especially if you watch uh, Zero Mission. That's the section you jump out of. From Torian into Criteria, where we landed. But you may remember the elevator isn't there. It was in a in a room closer to the uh, entrance, which is the one thing I. If they do remake this game, I want to see what they can do to. Mix those two up. And unlike, uh, later install, uh, specifically fusion slash zero mission, each shoulder button is a different diagonal direction. Which is weird, but you get used to it. Okay, five missiles. And unlike the later games, this one still has the old, uh, it, rather than hold down a button to activate, it is technically still a toggle. Five more missiles, so we already are starting off good with ten. Which honestly ends up carrying over to, like... And... When... Why? Literally, why? It's in the exact same spot as the original. Or... Zero mission, again. <laughs> like... If Zero Mission, if you play Zero Mission before this, technically, as the original one, a lot of things in Super Metroid don't technically add up. Which is kind of fun, very funny and weird. Oh, everything's awake now. Okay. I want that. <laughs> Having the extra 10 missiles is going to be helpful. I must have just barely timed that. Okay. Enemies here. These guys, uh, like, will reappear. 
these space pirates will be the first ones you technically run into in uh, Fusion 2. Uh, man, I love platform clipping. I'm just bit trying to be careful. Because at this point, I still technically haven't saved yet. <laughs> Which will soon change, because where or not I regained missiles was actually no. I don't even. Okay, no. Here's the save room, if I remember correctly. This is the save room. Yep. Okay. So what I was originally intending to do, if I didn't get enough missiles by the point, by this point, I was going to return to the gunship because this is the first game if I remember correctly, to bring back, to introduce the gunship being a full restore. Oh god. Ow. I don't know why I'm wearing too much out here. Because there technically is still more more ways to get health in the route. Because those exist. Okay, I have what I want. Okay. So we got that. Yeah. There's not much else in here, so I guess... You're my target. There we go. Game over. Sir Torizo. And we got everything back. And we also had the bombs. Yeah. Now to get back up, you can either... You can go A or B about it. You can either go up here or up to the right where it intends you to go where it, by technicality you can go up the way you came and do an air morph into the morph ball to get out it is uh very precise i have never done it i've seen it in action before but uh i have never done it myself okay if i didn't Stop. That would have almost been perfect. Uh, if you're wondering what in the world I'm referring to when I did that, uh, for later. For later. That's the best way I can put it. Oh, you... Just barely. At this point, I'm a, more so worried about health conservation than anything. Because it's still so early on. And I... 
I'm a little more concerned until at like after getting like my first uh like energy tank. I'm a little less worried. Okay. So, uh at this as you saw uh little tunnel right here if I could see missiles. Now I have fifteen. Couldn't co now granted, we could have gone through this beforehand. go no there was a tunnel there somewhere I didn't just didn't remember exactly where do not go right you uh there is a enemy type there that you that's not really the most nice when it comes to this kind of thing okay uh quickly shoot does that one exist and there's an item down here. And this is why I keep saying, if you played Zero Mission, things are strangely familiar. But also weird. Because in Zero Mission, there's a power bomb here. And if you take Zero Mission as the canonical first game, that means someone said, who touched my uh, power bomb and put a missile here again? Like... It's a little weird when going between how different games. So currently I have 20 missiles. If I felt like it, I could be a little on the lenient side with the missile. Because uh, soon I should have about 25. But that won't be until like the next part. But first... Ah, oh, yes. The the quick shot that... I assume when, as how this works is the hitboxes on these don't load until you get... As you fire it coming into the room. So it shoots straight through. And, and almost... Okay. That is the enemy that would typically appear. Oh. There we go. Got it. <laughs> like, okay, quickly. <laughs> Unload. Okay. Now I'm a little less nervous, <laughs> to say, so to speak. And again. I don't know what causes it. Because by technicality that that kind of shot is only possible through the plasma if I want to be sure the plasma beam and the wave beam because uh, plasma goes through multiple targets and wave beam in at least in 2d and wave beam goes through uh, walls so somewhere in the coding right there it changes your shot to a mixture of both, and it does not work properly. <laughs> well, I mean, it works properly, but... Comparatively, it, it's a glitch that I... It's not even, like, it's a major one. Okay. See if I can get the uh, one item early. Because both Z Super Metroid in this game, well, this game and Zero Mission, that 
it's like you're kind of intended to get that one early for your power the the power the morph ball bombs not power bombs why was I picking power bombs Okay, but I think we did a decent bit of uh, exploring for this part. We made it through Sarah's station as well as beat the Terezo that hold, held the bombs. And we also got an energy tank and 20 missiles, so as well as the Morph Ball. Morph Ball doesn't count. <laughs> but next time we will continue on with... The more, more of the explora exploration of the new planet, Zebus. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you next time for more Super Metroid. Bye!